The Empyrean Restoration effort is live. You know what that means. It's time to jump into the tower and start donating all of your hoarded polarized fractal line. What's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and in today's reset in the world of Destiny 2, we have the beginnings of the restoration of the Empyrean Foundation. This is going to be a massive community event that's going to be going on until the end of the Season of Dawn. During this event, your goal will be to donate that polarized fractal line to the Tower Obelisk, potentially in order to help rebuild the lighthouse for next season. And as a reward for doing so, you're going to get stuff like experience, uh, progression on any time-lost weapon bounties, and even more. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, how do you get started with all this? Well, first things first, we've got a brand new boss in the Mercury six-man activity, the Sundial. That's right, we're finally at the end of that story as well. In Atam, Oblivion's Triune is the new final boss of the Sundial. And in order to get started with the restoration effort, you're going to need to defeat that boss. So go ahead and load up the Sundial, go all the way to the end, and experience the new boss fight. It's actually really, really cool. It's like a mini raid encounter. Over the course of the fight against Inatam, you're going to fight against all three of the previous Scion bosses. So if you're missing one of those for the Triumph, don't worry. You get to take them out here and activate that Triumph. The format's going to be pretty simple, it's going to start out with the damage phase. Once you've done enough damage, Inatam is going to warp you into the corridors of time. Once you're in here, you're going to need to take out one of the three previous Scion Flare bosses. When you do so, you'll be warped back to the main arena where you'll need to stand on plates to charge them up and break the boss's shield. Once the boss's shield is broken, you move back into DPS and after a set amount of damage is done, it's going to warp you away to fight another Scion Flare. Basically, repeat this process with an increasing number of plates every time you come back to the main room and eventually you will defeat Inatam. It's a really fun boss fight that incorporates the mechanics of the previous Scion Flares as well, so you will need to pop bubbles and watch out for the thunderstorm and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, once you're finished with this, it's time to return to the tower. Go and speak with Saint-14. He should have the next step of a brand new quest for you. This quest step is going to require you to gather 30 orbs of light, which of course shouldn't take you too long at all. You can go and really run anything for this. If you want my opinion, head right back over into the Whisper of the Worm mission over on Io. Make your way through the jumping puzzle and into the green room. Once you're here, of course, you can just head down into the graveyard area where the Shadow Thrall are and just farm away to your heart's content. Equip a masterworked weapon and you'll be popping orbs in no time flat. I was able to get the 30 orbs I needed here within just a few minutes. But of course, you can go and run anything. You can go do public events or anything like that, and you should be able to farm up those orbs. Again, you're going to want to run masterworked weapons. If you've got a masterworked risk runner, that'll work great. But anything masterworked, since getting double kills, you know, multi-kills with those weapons, automatically generates orbs of light. Either way, you should be able to get this done fairly quickly. Doing this will reward you the light-infused core. From there on, return to the tower and insert that light-infused core into the tower obelisk. And once you've done so, congratulations, you will have officially joined the Empyrean Restoration effort. Now that you've gotten access to this, your Tower Obelisk is going to begin generating its own polarized fractal line that it's going to pay out to you once a week based on the resonance level of the planetary obelisk that you've already activated over the course of the Season of Dawn. So basically, the more you've leveled up the obelisk on, say, Mars or the Tangled Shore or in the EDZ, the more generated polarized fractal line the Tower Obelisk is going to pay out to you on reset every week. I had a few of the obelisks on different planets maxed out, and as you can see here, when I accepted my generated fractal line, it gave me a total of 2300, which is almost half of what you need to get the hidden emblem tied to this. So it's not a bad payoff at all. But anyways, from here on out, you'll be able to start donating your own polarized fractal line. But I would say hold off on that for just a little bit. You actually have another quest step to do here. Your final step is to return to Osiris on Mercury. Doing so will get you an awesome audio log with him, thanking your guardian for everything that you've done. He even muses a bit about returning to the tower in the last city himself. But once you've done that, the quest is officially done. You are now a part of the Empyrean Restoration effort. And from here, the rules are simple. You can donate Polarized Fractaline in stacks of 100 to the Tower Obelisk to help with the restoration effort. Doing so will get you triumphs and whatnot. There's triumphs for donating 100, there's triumphs for donating 900, and there's a hidden emblem in triumph for donating a total of 5,000 polarized fractaline. But when you return to the Tower Obelisk, there's another thing that you want to pay attention to here. You're going to have a brand new consumable item that you can pick up 
titled Light Infused Fractaline. You can pick this up for 20,000 Glimmer and 10 Legendary Shards. This increases your resonance rank of one of your planetary obelisks by one, and you can buy as many of these as you want. Meaning you can buy 10 of these and go and max out an obelisk so long as you've got enough Glimmer and enough Legendary Shards. This is probably the first thing you should do if you have the resources for it. If you've got the available Glimmer and the available Legendary Shards and you haven't maxed out all of your planetary obelisks, this is absolutely something that you should do. And it's fantastic that Bungie included this as a way for people who maybe have been taking a break over the course of the Season of Dawn to get caught up with their obelisks. By getting all of those obelisks up to max resonance or at least resonance level 11 so you can purchase all of the buffs on each of the planetary obelisks, you're going to be getting the most back from the tower obelisk each and every week, ensuring that you'll be able to hit that 5,000 fractaline donation limit in order to get the Hidden Triumph and the Hidden Emblem. But anyways, from here on out, it's all about donating Polarized Fractaline to the Tower Obelisk. And again, the basics are this. You can contribute to the Empyrean Foundation by donating Polarized Fractaline in stacks of 100. Contributing that Fractaline will also generate about 25% flat progression towards all time-lost weapon bounties in your inventory. This is huge. You can go and pick up any of the bounties that are tied to the obelisk. So stuff for Traveler's Judgment, for the Jack, Queen, King, any of those weapons, and as long as they're in your inventory when you're donating that 100 Polarized Fractaline, you get 25% total progression towards the completion of that bounty. Meaning, if you turn in Polarized Fractaline four times in a row, if you turn in 400 Polarized Fractaline, you complete whatever bounties are in your inventory automatically. This is fantastic on so many different levels. You're going to be able to farm out perfect rolls as much as you want so long as you have that Polarized Fractaline. You're also going to get EXP for each of those bounties that you turn in, so this turns into a pretty easy EXP farm as well. So there's definitely a lot to like there. Now, we are working towards a goal with all this donated Polarized Fractaline, as we covered in the TWAP last week. Basically, we're going to be completing this in stages. There's going to be seven total stages with basically Polarized Fractaline donation goals that we have to hit in order to complete the Empyrean Foundation. Stage number one is going to require a total of 400 million Polarized Fractaline donated. Stage number two, 700 million. And stage number three, 1 billion, 200 million Polarized Fractaline. That's a lot of donations, but I think our community is up to it. After that, stage 4, 5, 6, and 7 are currently unknown. But here's hoping we can get through it before too long. But alright Guardians, there we go. That is everything you need to know about the Empyrean Foundation. The last question you might be asking is, how can I earn Polarized Fractaline really quickly? Well, there's actually a lot of ways to do that. There are weekly bounties that you can pick up from the Tower Obelisk that will grant you large amounts of Polarized Fractaline. Of course, the daily bounties from Saint-14 will also offer you large amounts of that Fractaline. And you can even farm it in playlist activities, stuff like the Sundial, uh, Playlist Strikes, PvP. Last week was actually a really good week to farm out Fractaline because of Mayhem. But you can go and play any of those weekly playlist activities to get yourself some Polarized Fractaline every time you complete an activity. Additionally, there's a buff you can pick up from the Tower Obelisk called Fractaline Skimmer, which will also increase the amount of Polarized Fractaline you get from completing activities. So go out, complete those bounties, play in the game modes you want, and you'll be generating this stuff in no time flat. Also, don't forget to turn in your Triumphs, as those will give you Polarized Fractaline as well. If you're doing all this, you should have no problem building up enough Polarized Fractaline to help out with the donation effort. But there we go, Guardians. That is it for this video. That's the guide for the community event. Now get out there, start farming, and start donating so that we may become worthy. Hopefully this video helps, and if you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.